Sunday. We've been cleaning all day. Now we're doing bridles. So it's Monday. After a wedding, we're closed on Mondays. Closed. It's been busier today than it's been in weeks, probably months. And being closed doesn't mean we don't do anything. Clouds just cleared off. It's been a really gloomy, crazy morning. Made a lot of Facebook posts this morning. Booked a couple of tours for this week and next week. So, I'm gonna get out here and try to finish up this pergola today. Last little bit to do before it's uh, complete. Give you a peek of it here. So that's what we got. That's what we're working with. What we got left is in the trailer loaded here. Got a few of them already stained and ready to go. We got to get the rest of the rest of the lid on this thing. Get her lit it up. So I'm gonna set up the GoPro, finish the time lapse on it, and then hopefully make a whole pergola video at some point. Let's make it happen. All right, we're done. It's dark. Yes, it is. Uh, it's up for the most part, 90% anyway. It's uh, it's done. We're going to the house to eat. Another trip into town to use the internet. Go ahead and pick up some supplies while I'm in town. Not having to buy gas. <laughs> Finally got the pergola finished last night. I know we're getting, we're getting closer to having Jessica's wedding this weekend, and that's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun one. Can't wait to show you all her bridles. They came out really good. So that's Tuesday. We may be making a trip to Morgan City to buy some more chairs tomorrow. I'll keep you on standby for that. I'm not sure what time we'll leave, but uh, we'll have a pretty good road trip possibly plan for tomorrow so we'll see how that goes so I just drove the half an hour to town to pick up some supplies and whatnot and I reached back into my 
butt cheek here to see if I had grabbed my wallet because that little thing in my brain said, hey, guess what? You forgot your wallet and it's not in my pocket. And I, I did forget my wallet. However, I happened to glance down in the console of the car, which has been parked since last trip to town. And something down there caught my eye and in the console was my wallet. So sometimes, sometimes you get a win. Because if I would have actually looked for my wallet before I left, I would have torn the whole house apart looking for my wallet and probably been in a pretty rotten mood. So now I'm in a good mood because I got a victory here and they're very small and I'll take every one of them. So here we are at the Beauregard Public Library, the Beauregard Parish Public Library. I'm going to go inside and upload some videos and work on some stuff that needs to be done. And uh, yep, gotta have a mask on when you go in. So let's go do it, it's fast. Finishing touches, final brush strokes. Just about done. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. All right, let's take a peek, see what it looks like. There it is, she's finished. New and improved for 2021. All right, let's go eat. So it's Wednesday morning. We found some chairs on Facebook Marketplace, actually, Leanne Cooley found us some chairs. Thanks for that, Leanne. On Facebook Marketplace that we are gonna try and go get today. Uh, since we lost all of our pews, we are having to move chairs back and forth in and out of the barn for the nuptials, the actual ceremonies and the receptions. So we're gonna buy some chairs to hopefully remedy that. At least make it a little easier to, to deal with. We won't have to quite move as many uh, between the two steps of a wedding, the ceremony and the reception. So emptying out this trailer from the old pergola, put it over here by the barn so we can repurpose it into a, a swing or something. And uh, since the tractor's down, I'm having to do it with my hands. Got the trailer good and empty for the chairs. Now I gotta make a hitch for it to fit the Jeep. That's where that comes in. The size of that thing. <laughs> we gotta take this little rusty ball off and put this big shiny one on. Little rusty one, big shiny one, big drop. Alright, so Got the trailer cleaned out. Got the bar of mom and dad's Jeep because dad's got the truck in West Texas. So we're having to take the little Jeep with the trailer on it to Morgan City, Louisiana. We're gonna go buy some chairs. Look how pretty you look. So far, is I've been talking to this guy for two days. When I asked him for an address, I haven't heard back from him. All right, so we get the vet. Got Isabel checked out. Got her a little medicine. Make her feel better. Poor old dog. She's so old. We're about an hour and a half out now. Finally wrote me back, got me his address, so we are uh, good to go. We'll hit that and flip around and head home. All right, we made it. Well, we got chairs. So we've done pews twice. Now let's try chairs. Do what? I think we're gonna have better luck with the chairs than the pews. I sure hope so. Sure hope so. They look nice though, they're in good shape. Yeah. They
They're in better shape than I thought they were going to be. They're not plastic, but they will do the job. They definitely will do the job. So we'll take them home, paint them up, get them clean. They'll become part of our Sugar Chateau repertoire. Last stop before home, Jennings. CJ loves Jennings. Don't watch the Jennings 8. Don't do that. We made it home. It's 10.30. Not too bad. We left at, what, noon? What time did we leave? Noon one-ish. Noon one-ish, so. Not a bad road trip, but to pick up 85 chairs, worth every mile and every minute. Right? Gonna save us the hassle of not having our views anymore. And we'll be able to feed as many people as we need to. Yeah. And, and no more chairs from the table or from the pergola to the rehearsal area. Yes. The reception area. Yeah. Right, reception. That would be great. Because yes. that whole moving chairs after the wedding part is no bueno. So, all right, we're going to bed. Well, it's 10 30. We're not really going to bed, but. This will be the last video of the night. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Thursday morning. We've got a lot we want to try to get done today. So, uh, gonna get out here and get started. Tomorrow's rehearsal, so, I'm trying to get a bunch of this wrapped up. Man, it's a, it's a pretty morning. I love these pretty mornings. All right, let's see what we can get done. But first, I need a little go-go juice. So here we've got 86 additional chairs for seating. They are not half bad. My favorite thing about ratchet straps is when you're attempting to secure your cargo and you place your hook on the far side over there, you can never get it to hang. But the second you get to where you're going and you wanna get it off, it won't come off of there for anything. That never fails to amaze me, ever. All right, so here we are, 86 chairs. They all unfold and stand on their own. There's a few that are missing some cushions, but we've got a ton of extra cushions in the back of the Jeep there. Um, some of them have some holes in them. Those are going to be replaced too. They're very dirty. They can use a clean and we've got two different styles, but there's 86 of them. That puts us at seating for 254 people. Got some extra cushions. So we'll take the ugliest ones and replace them with the best looking ones. I think I'm going to try to paint them. I think I'm going to take all the cushions off and try to give them a coat of paint. Ooh, that's going to be a lot. Yikes. So we got out there and finished up the pergola. Looks really good. Very, very happy with the way it looks. I got to get down here and clean this barn out from last weekend. Our bride, Jessica, this weekend, will be here in a little bit to uh, help us figure out how we're going to set up, how we're going to, where we're going to put our tables, we're going to do all of her dancing. We generally like to have a meeting uh, a couple days before the wedding. We like to get stuff started being set up. It's only Thursday. It's Thursday. It's already Thursday. So we are going to uh, go ahead and get started doing that stuff so we don't have a whole lot to do tomorrow and Saturday. Takes a little off our plate. Well, it's a gloomy, cloudy Friday morning. We're about to start getting set up for a rehearsal, which means we'll get down to the barn and start doing our setup for tomorrow's wedding, getting chairs and tables put out, getting uh, other stuff done, decorations done and whatnot. We've got all those new chairs we need to get put under the barn and kind of wiped down. We're gonna have to paint them soon, but it won't be for this wedding. Uh, we gotta get this one knocked out and maybe we can do that next week. So far, I think we're expecting about 130 should be a pretty good sized wedding. Got a cold front coming through this afternoon, this evening. 
which means the weather should again be perfect for wedding day.